Welcome back, Konius here. Today I'm flying from Fayetteville, North Carolina to Raleigh Dorham Airport in North Carolina. I'm flying a Beechcraft King Air 350i. The weather looks miserable, but this looks manageable. It should be a pretty short flight. Let's go ahead and get started, take off the parking brake. I'll turn the windshield wipers on once I get up in the air. You can feel the nose wanting to lift up. Fast enough. Why is that? Okay, I'm gonna stay level here for a bit until we pick up some speed. Got the flaps all the way down. I may not need those at the moment. Let's see. Okay, and now we're getting some speed. So yeah, I may not have need the needed the flaps down all the way or at all. Let's go ahead and turn into the heading. KH409, continue for north departure. I will contact you next when you leave my airspace. Fayetteville Tower KH409, continue for north departure. Endeavor 5270, clear to land runway 4. Alright, I've chosen a target altitude of 3,000 feet. Let's go ahead and turn autopilot on. And navigation should be on. Okay, so the Garmin system should be taking over at this point. I just have to watch my throttle. Need to pull back to the halfway point once we level off. Just like my last flight from Charleston, there's really not much to see in a case like this when there's so much rain. So, it won't necessarily be a very photogenic flight. On the other hand, the realism of the weather, I like that. Um, I want to expose myself to these sorts of conditions as part of the learning process. I'm realistic about it. I'm not learning to fly. I'm learning to fly simulated airplanes in a video game. But it's still it's a lot of fun. I enjoy trying to make it as real as possible. Okay, I think we've reached our altitude. I'm going to pull back on the throttle. Watch my speed. We're dropping in speed again. I don't understand. It must be the weather. Um, I would expect to be going a lot faster and not slowing down at this point. I'm going to go back to giving it some throttle. Make sure the flaps are all... Yeah, the flaps are up. Yeah, it must, must just be the weather. I would expect to be going at least 50 knots faster than this. Um, don't think it's an icing issue, although I think I will turn on the de-icing just in case if it, well, if it gets cold enough. What do we have here? 49 is not cold enough to worry about that. We're still climbing though, that's interesting. So that's not what I wanted. I think I might have forgotten to turn flight level change on. That's the problem. Alright, so we'll go back down to 3000. I'm going to pull back on the throttle, let it pick up the speed by dipping. need to increase the speed here. Yep. Okay, we should be able to go 200 at least. Alright, I'm going to pull back more on the throttle. There we go. 
now we're starting to dip down. I'm thinking maybe I should make a personal checklist. I'm not ready to turn on in-game checklists, but um, I usually forget one or two things when setting up my flights, which usually is not a problem. But the reason we were going down in speed is because we were uh, ascending so high. We did prove that we couldn't get up over the clouds at that altitude, so that was worthwhile. Go outside for a minute, uh, there's really not much to look at. Before I do that, though, let me just boost this a bit, see if we can get us to uh, descend a bit faster. Okay, that should be good enough. KH409, contact approach on Yeah, so here we are outside. There's really nothing to see. Not even really seeing the colors and the plane delivery. Look, this is a reality of flying. Trusting your instruments. I suppose this would have to qualify as instrument rating because, I mean, you can't see anything. The only reason I can fly at all is because of the Garmin. Without that, I would be lost um, trying to navigate and get to the airport. Alright, we're almost at our altitude, so I will need to bring up the throttle to level off we get there. See it has switched to altitude hold mode. Let's go ahead and put the throttle up at halfway. I think we'll begin to gain some significant speed now. Um, in a bit I will take over from autopilot and then co-pilot will arrange for landing at Raleigh-Durham. Alright, so we're picking up a pretty decent speed now. That'll work out fine.
So again, the, le the weather is lousy. There's really not much to see. Now would be a good time to eat lunch or something. Uh, passengers will probably be playing cards or bored, not looking out the windows. So at this point we're close enough, I'm going to take over from autopilot and begin slowing us down. tells us that we've gone outside of the altitude hold boat range. Windshield wipers on. Let me see if I can turn those off while controlling the plane. There we go. Squawk 7524KH409. KH409, radar contact 5 miles northwest of 78 November Charlie 2200 feet. Altimeter 3, 0 decimal 1 2. Alright, just adjusted the altimeter. We were lower than we thought. Something I don't think to, about doing that often. KH409, contact while approach on 124.95. Decimal Alright, just put the flaps down Going halfway. That will help to slow us down. Raleigh approach KH409, 2200 feet. Nice having the co pilot deal with all the tower traffic. Continuous land. Altimeter tree, 0 decimal 1 2. So just trying to find a good balance between speed and altitude and staying headed in the right direction of the airport. Speed is good. I'm getting better at approaching the airports without such a ferocious speed, making it difficult to land. Despite the weather, it feels like it's very calm. I'm not feeling the airplane getting jostled around a lot, so that should make it a little easier to land, maybe? Okay, we're losing a bit of altitude. I'll nose up a little. I want to stay around 2200. Um, seems like the landing pattern entrances are generally around there. Co-pilot will contact them momentarily. One thing is I wish they would contact a little sooner only because often by the time the landing pattern displays on the screen um, I have to kind of turn around and go back uh, or you know not even in a good position to just blend into it or something curve into it. trying to visualize what it would feel like to actually be in an actual plane in the rain, knowing I'm about to land. Uh, I think it would feel a little Raleigh scary, actually, but Request that's where experience comes in. So, 
I thought about doing my flying tour, my learning to fly tour, forcing good weather, but I'm thinking if I really want experience, I need to expose myself to the whole spectrum of weather. It seems like that's a good thing, so that's what I'm doing. I'm hoping to encounter snow at some point, somewhere. I had this problem with my last flight where maybe because it's IFR or something, but uh, we didn't just automatically request landing. And so let me try to do that. Well, in fact, actually, what I'm going to do is a little scary. So I'm going to hand over controls to the co pilot and then. Rolling Durham is where we want to go. Rolling Tower KH four zero nine is one zero miles south with Kilo to land. Okay, good. KH four zero nine Rolling Tower Airport is currently IFR. Request denied. Rolling Tower KH four zero nine is nine miles south with Kilo to land. KH four zero nine Rolling Tower Airport is currently IFR. Request denied. Request denied. Jetlow 159 two turn next taxiway. <laughs> Alright, so if they Rolling Tower KH 409er is Niner miles south with Kilo to land. They keep request they Rally keep Tower denying our request to land. Request denied. Interesting. Rolling Tower KH 409er is Niner miles south with Kilo to land. I'll just ignore the weather. I realize that's not realistic, but I think, I think if I had handled this properly, first of all, I left the airport under IFR and probably shouldn't have left me le let me left if I didn't have clearance. I'm not even sure how to get clearance. Um, but then I also should have prepared to... Oh, okay, he's, he's acknowledging. I should have prepared to... Um, have you know a couple of other airports to go to in case I needed to. Um, it's interesting though. I wonder how do you, how do you deal with that if the weather changes and you can't land? Okay, so I assume the co-pilot is doing the right thing here. Kind of looks like it. I'm going to let him land the plane. Feels a little bit like chickening out, but this weather is just difficult and they wouldn't let me land at the airport, so I'll just let him take care of that. Also, sometimes it can be kind of interesting to see how the automated pilot flies the plane. It can give you some insight into how the plane works. I'm not 100% sure, though, if he is actually heading to the entrance and is going to turn into it or not. Okay, we've got landing intentions, so... I think we should be fine. We'll see what happens. Raleigh Tower American 1239er, 2-9 mile, southwest inbound on Avianki runway 5 left approach. American 1239er, Raleigh Tower. Clear North Ave Yankee runway 5 left approach. Altimeter 30 decimal 17 wind 039 er at 12. Starting to see a little bit of the ground over here. Clear Just North slightly. Ave Yankee runway 5 left approach. American 1239 er So I still don't know is the pilot, is the co pilot going to turn or just keep going forward? 
I may have to let him fly past and then take over myself. Flying through the entrance backwards. Oh, now we're turning. Okay. All right. And one thing I've noticed about the co-pilots is that they don't necessarily follow the landing pattern shown to the player precisely. They'll use their own rules, so it may not match, but they end up essentially going the same way. Yeah, I think if I was with an actual trainer and encountered this weather, I just would not feel comfortable trying to fly this plane, or trying to land this plane. I would ask the trainer to handle that for me. JetBlue 1988, okay. Too fast. Well, co-pilot will manage that. Clear to land runway. Five right at 1988. Might be interesting to use the drone at this point because normally I don't get to use the drone wall. Alright, so he turned at one point, he's not turning now. Maybe he's just, oh, I guess maybe we are going the right way. Okay. Just didn't look like it for some reason. Interesting perspective. I mean, I think I probably could have landed it. He seems a little off course. Sending him to the runway and everything is just very, very smooth. I want to get to that point. Um, the AI is not exactly making the runway, but... Anyway, I guess that's... Okay. <laughs> So is he following anything? One eight eight turn next tax away. Let's request taxi to parking. Raleigh ground KH four zero nine er taxi to parking. KH four zero nine er taxi to general aviation parking using taxiway off the golf papa. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking via Taxiway Alpha Golf Papa KH 409. Are we going to crash into that? Looks like it. Or we slice through it or something. That's weird. Um, why does the game allow that? Roger KH 409. Raleigh Ground, generic. 
Blue jet came Taxi in from Jacksonville. Oh, I hadn't seen a moving windsock before, that's kind of cool. Yeah, the way the co pilot is doing this, it feels very patient, relaxed. Um, I do need to get a, a little bit more practice in being in that pilot mindset of sort of infinite patience. See, they gave them a warning about a truck on their way, but not us. Thank you to the co-pilot for handling the landing and the taxiing for us. Okay, I wonder if he's going to put on the parking brake, or if I need to do that. I also wonder if he put the flaps up. Okay, how nice and slow he's moving. Okay, see, I need to do that when I'm taxiing. Just nice slow movements. There we go, he did put on the parking brake. Alright, so we'll take back control of the plane. Shut the engines down. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.